Astrakhan Oblast, Russia, 500 miles south of Moscow, June 19, 1948. 11 months after the Roswell incident, at the Soviet military rocketry research and development base Kapustin Yar, erratic blips appear on the radar screens. At the same time, a MiG jet fighter pilot sees an unidentifiable cigar shaped object flying in front of him. What we have now come to understand is that there was an engagement of the Soviet military with an unknown object that came into the airspace at or near Kapustin Yar. And the Soviet MiG fighter was scrambled to intercept. The aircraft engages in a three minute dogfight with the UFO. The jet was able to fire off a missile, and the missile apparently hit the craft just as the craft hit the MiG with some kind of blinding flash of light that caused the MiG with the UFO to crash. When people talk about UFO crashes, they talk about Roswell as if it's the only time it ever happened, but it's happened repeatedly. Kapustin Yar is another great example of a genuine Roswell-type crash, this time in the Soviet Union, and totally classified under the umbrella of national security. There are special teams designed to create a cover story, and the wreckage goes off to warehouses in which that technology is analyzed and understood. Rumors have circulated for years that nearly a quarter mile beneath the surface of the Kapustin Yar base are hallways and chambers containing downed extraterrestrial craft and rooms where alien autopsies have been performed. This is really the Soviet Union's Area 51. It was very, very remote. The Soviets did all of their major rocket testing, a lot of their advanced back engineering of Nazi technology from World War II. So it was a very, very sophisticated place. Some people came up with the idea that this was the main storage of the crashed UFOs in the Soviet Union, and the secret tests are being done there. Curiously, at this secret facility, the Soviets developed better nuclear weapons and delivery systems in 18 months than they had anticipated creating in five years. In 1959, the United States Central Intelligence Agency began to monitor the covert base and collect aerial photographs from a U-2 reconnaissance mission. When the United States sent recon missions over there during the Cold War, they looked down and they saw these incredible carved images on the ground around Kasputin Yar. When we actually look at the depictions of these geoglyphs, they look similar to what we see in crop circles and in certain ancient landforms visible on Earth. So there clearly appears to have been an attempt to communicate with the extraterrestrials perhaps saying, X marks the spot, come here, guys. Kasputin Yar was one of the former Soviet Union's most secretive air bases. The rumor is, is they were researching UFO technology there. And one wonders if it's possible if those symbols were in fact used to attract UFOs. 